The Lions got fucked. Allegedly. No, bro. <laughs> they did. They did. Um, the referee. So what happened was if you guys missed it. So at the end of the game, Lions scored a touchdown to tie it up, right? Instead of kicking, no, instead of kicking the extra point to tie it up, they go for two to try to win the damn game. I think it was like 20 seconds left. You already knew they were going to do that. Yeah, aggressive as hell. And they'd that, go for three if they could. Yeah, they, that was the that was the game plan the whole week because Dan Campbell didn't even think twice about it. Didn't even think about sending his field goal unit out there. They went out and did it. Yep. So they had a play drawn up. Beautiful big man touchdown. Beautiful. You love to see him. Taylor Decker, I believe his name is. Longtime yes. Lions offensive lineman. He's been through the hard times, so they want to make this moment big and special for him. Um, Allegedly, he did not uh, check in and claim himself as an eligible receiver. To allegedly, because he did. Um, I thought maybe the referee might have been worried he was getting jumped, all the linemen walking over to him all at once. Maybe because so the the, th- the thing was that Decker and I don't know the other lineman's name uh, number seventy. 70 yep. yep, they both went up to the referee before the play, um, and obviously for gamesmanship, they don't want to send one guy out there to be like, oh, he's eligible, he's eligible. It's me. Look out for get him. I'm gonna go out and get a pass. So they sent two of them out there, and allegedly Dan Campbell said uh, before the game even started. He went up to the ref and was like, yeah, if this goes down, um, we're probably going to pull this playoff, and this guy's going to come up to you and uh, tell you that he's eligible. He's going to be an eligible receiver when the time comes. That's a lot of uh, preparation yeah. to mess up as the ref. So, right there. obviously the ref threw the flag, ineligible receiver downfield, had to run it back. There's an offside call on Michael Parsons. They had to run a third time. So, at this point, you already backed up. I think, it, what, to the seven-yard line or something? Yeah, they were like at the seven. Yep. Um, Dan Campbell just went for it again, which. That's where you. If you, it was me in that situation, I probably would have said, fuck it. We already tried yeah. twice. It wasn't meant to happen. I'm going to just go tie it and go into overtime. That would have been your sign, yeah. But, no, he's aggressive head coach, as we know. He believed in his – had full confidence in his team to get the job done. And um, they came guys. up short. Anywho, yeah, so. What do you even do about that? If you're what? Like the NFL. How many times have we said this this year? If you could find players and coaches, why can't you find the officials? Because there's literal, there's video proof of the two linemen going up to claim that they're eligible to the to that referee. I forget his name. It's like Brad Allen or some shit. Oh, he's throwing him under the bus. Oh, he's way under the bus. I don't. I some guy <sighs> like me from one. Niagara Falls, New York, isn't going to be the one throwing him under the bus. <laughs> I can promise you that. He could just move to Dallas. It'll be good. <laughs> but no, Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, no. He'd be, he be the man down there. Yeah. They sent him your cowboy hat right that. away. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's video proof of these two linemen going up to him, letting the referee know that they're eligible. And then they interviewed Decker after the game. I was like, yeah, I literally went up to him, told him I'm an eligible receiver. He did not acknowledge me. Acknowledge 70, but for some reason it acknowledged me. So if you're the referee. Fired. Okay, 70's coming up to you. He's eligible. Let's use some common sense. Why the fuck would 68 be coming up to you? Just just for shits and giggles? I don't know. This, that, that whole thing's a mess. Can we just get, get. Referees, can we get the shit right? Because not only did it cost the Detroit Lions the number one seed and potential two seed. Let's look. Let's look deeper yeah, yeah. into this. The Eagles. That too, but let's look in Detroit. They have. When's the last time they had a home playoff game? Twenty eleven, whatever. And even before that, when's the last time they won the division? Thirty something years. That city would have been buzzing for uh, that first round play, the wild card weekend playoff game, home game. They still got them. No, they still are. Yeah. But the potential to be the number one seed, where the, all roads through the NFC lead through Detroit. Oh, they think, had a think about the one seed still. They would have, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Especially because the Eagles lost too. Yeah. 
which makes it even more insane. And but yeah, let's let's think about let's think about them, De- yeah. Let's think about Detroit now. All the small businesses that would have profited off of everyone coming, all this buzz in the city in Detroit and Ford Field, local restaurants, <laughs> every stadium itself. Mom spaghettis. Uh, yeah, I don't know too many Italian places in Detroit. If you're from Detroit, let us know, man. I mean, get your blue cheese hats out. They do that. Watch your sweaters. I saw it. I follow a Lions fan on Instagram. Okay. Mm-hmm. Get your blue cheese sweaters out there. No, not sweaters. Hats. Oh, hats, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Or you can wear your hoodies too. Ain't no. Yeah, if you got a blue no cheese hoodie, that. just not a sweater. Maybe Calvin Johnson would have came out. Yeah, he might have. Now he's not gonna. And Barry, <laughs> dude. Did you see last week? He tweeted, or he responded to oh, a Lions yeah. tweet from 2021. He finally just responded to it. I think they congratulated him on uh, getting to the Hall of Fame or some shit. Yeah, or like being nominated one of the something yeah. like that. And then he was like, Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Once they clinched the division for the first time in 30 years. <laughs> the, the curse is lifted. But Megatron. it might be back in place now that this referee fucked him over.